relatively average looking Act 1. Looks like we can only get two elites no matter what path we take. That can make things a little challenging. I can actually see going random common relic or lose our money for max health. That's not something I do all that often on clad, but I think it is pretty good. <clears throat> Ironclad really likes max health, and this is a ton of max health right at the start. <laughs> Which would support us going into a combat heavy path through Act 1. Let's do it. I haven't taken a 14 max health start in quite a while. I want to feel like I'm playing on Ascension Zero, seeing 80 plus max health on clad right from the get-go. Now give me a feed. Dragon House, thank you so much for the incredibly generous 5,000 bits, saying, found these kicking around here, you can have them. Why, thank you, that's incredibly generous. Oh, there goes my 14 health. Ow. That's okay. We can get it back. Floor one might be the best floor of all to take a metallicize. That said, headbutt and twin strike are excellent early attacks. I really do like a headbutt in particular this early on. Mephesto also with another 100 bits, saying Chunky Clad incoming. Is there a truly awful starting common relic to get? Never really happy about Tiny Chest or Juzu Bracelet. Omamori can be pretty weak. Smiling Mask is not a great start, but is okay. How's it going, Brian McCullough? Have I ever played Heroes of Might and Magic 3? I have. Although I've actually played a lot more of uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 5, which many consider to just kind of be a 3D version of Heroes 3. Very similar mechanics, though. Definitely enjoyed it quite a bit. Flat Chop. Thanks for the three months of the Prime sub. Sick of the Spire. Let's slay it. How's it going, Guildwood Pierce? Bits are basically a form of direct donation on Twitch. One bit equals one US cent delivered directly to the streamer. As well as playing a neat little animation in chat usually at the same time. That's right, that's the Ubisoft one. Ubisoft. I want the Metella size. Don't know if that's the right pick. Of course, we immediately do get punished here. I'll have to lose eight or maybe even nine max health to pick up the Golden Idol. Don't love that. Doesn't feel correct to not take it, though. It's only eight. I'll lose eight. Go down to 81 here. It's worth so much money over the course of a run, it's easily worth giving up a bit of max HP for it. Plus, losing max HP is not the same thing as losing current HP. We stay alive quite easily. They're tough. Fight double eight damage lice. Certainly hurts. Surely our third fight will give us a chance to heal. Oh, dear. Definitely should have taken headbutt. Hmm. Do I take a clash out of desperation? I think the answer is yes. Let's try it. We need something. It's playable sometimes. Good job, Metallicize. Very good in this fight, like I said. Nope, clash being disappointing. And we didn't get the defend draw to save health in this fight either. Sometimes that's just how it is. 
even with all that, we do have 75 hit points here, which is pretty good, actually. Ooh. Metal Trance is cool, but do I take Combust to solve Slime Boss? Probably I do. Trade one health per turn to deal five damage per turn. That adds up really fast. Uh, and even in single target fights, if you need to damage race your opponent, it's easily worth it. For example, here it helps us get the kill before the 21 damage arrives. Good job, Clash. Too many powers. I think I'd better just take a Hemokinesis here. It offers a lot of damage. We have to damage ourselves a little bit, although we have a lot of health to give. Um, and that'll help us get through the next couple of fights here. As tempting as a Feel No Pain is. We really don't have energy, any synergy for a Feel No Pain at all. Uh, and the fights where the Feel No Pain is good, namely Sentries and Slime Boss, are already being solved by the Combust. So, really don't want this card. We do, however, want to upgrade the Combust, make it two more damage per turn for no additional health cost. Where's Rupture at now, right? Beautiful turn. A regen potion in this fight. Yeah, take one, deal 21 each turn. Pretty good deal. Very clean fight overall. We took one and healed one there. We leave with 70 hit points. Pick up a bag of marbles to apply one Vuln on turn one, and there's the feed. Deal 10 damage. If this kills the enemy, raise your max health by three. A very powerful card. Um, in fact, I am going to be greedy here and upgrade that feed. Normally, don't advise an early feed upgrade. We have a lot of upgrades to sack, though, so I think we can do it. And we have many more combats as well. Feed italicize would be good here. Calipers are a thing. Retain all your block minus 15, huh? Sure. Unlikely these do anything for quite a long time, but can do stuff. We even actually needed the damage from the upgrade on feet there. That's pretty cool. True Grit versus Whirlwind. I've already got the Combust. True Grit sounds like a nice way to line up feeds a bit better. can also make uh, Clash a bit more playable. <laughs> For example, well, maybe not. It's not upgraded yet. Let's try something here. YOLO. Dang it. It's fine, though. Baron Fell, thanks for the Prime sub in the 45 months. On our way to full HP. That's pretty good. <laughs> Heavy Blade would be good if we get a Rupture. Seems a bit premature, surely. I don't think we need any of these cards. 
Although it could work with Flex Pot, I suppose. Go Block Pot over Blessing. And one for the boys, courtesy of Burger Flippers. What do you... I don't know why this is what I came up with. <clears throat> what do you call a burger joint that sells only tacos? Five lies. That's all I got for you, Twist Chat. They like it. Onward. Hmm. Can deal 30 damage. Or we can wait to put Combust in play. Get rid of a Sinner's Bane. Do that. Use once. Strike. Lightly awkward. Oh well. Should be able to use the block potion in this fight pretty effectively. Take a full block. Seems fine. Might have to flex potion to get the feed here. Yeah, we do. Uh, we deal 18 with the flex pot. We deal 15 more. That's 33, right? 9 plus 9 plus 15. Okay, I'll do that. I think that's worth using a potion for. Saves us some more health, too. A centennial puzzle, the first time we lose health each combat, draw three. Kind of bad with Combust, but good with Hemokinesis. Berserk. Berserk is back. Did not love Berserk last time we took it. How about we take an Evolve? That's a card that's been pretty good for us. Extra draw on statuses will definitely help us get through Slime Boss. Um, and it could be a draw engine for the late game as well, comboing with quite a few Ironclad cards, notably Power Through. Good job, Bag of Marbles. With Vulnerable, we get to kill here. 9 plus 9 plus 18 is 36, so we can kill the back one. 97 max health already here. That is one chonky clad. I think I need to play Hemokinesis here. Um, but I do need to play it here. Dang. <laughs> Could have played it both times. Fair enough. No. Either way, I think we have plenty of health for Slime Boss. all terrible. No strength. No, I don't want any of these. All right, we go into Slime Boss with 71 hit points and a Combust Plus. That'll have to do. As far as upgrades go, we can upgrade Evolve, upgrade Metallicize, or upgrade Bash, I think are the most reasonable. We do get 5 damage on Hemokinesis or 4 damage on Clash. I don't expect Clash to do much in this fight, uh, but Hemokinesis Plus could easily be worth it. Especially in Act 2. That'll be a lot of damage. Let's do that. Alright, Mr. Slimbo. Here's hoping we draw Combust relatively early. Bummer. 
think I'm going to get crushed here. We actually do retain some block with calipers. Good job, calipers. Calipers are good here. Huzzah. Also, I think I did enough damage. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's go Combust Evolve here. It's a pretty bad split at 71 health, but with Combust in play, I'm not too worried. Okay, Calipers were not good here. False Alarm, False Alarm. Sorry, Calipers. You failed me. Hopefully with the Evolve, it won't be too hard to find an opportunity to feed on one of the slimes here. You can feed on any of the slime bosses, little sub-slimes. Not bothering with a strike. The 15 plus 7 already kills one, actually, right? 14 plus 7 doesn't, yeah, so discard this, or exhaust it, rather. So you're dead. You'll be dead next turn. Feed now? No feed. Hmm. It's not good. It's only 24 damage. We'll have to go around one more time. Not, again, not too hard to be with the uh, slimes here. So I'm not actually that concerned. But we only have two more draws to get there. Managed to miss it entirely. That's a bummer. Well, we do win the slime boss fight, so that's pretty good. Take Immolate, Corruption, or Feed. Immolate's pretty cool. We've already got Evolve to make the draw work in our favor. The burn, rather, work in our favor. It's a lot more AoE. Works very well with Bag of Marbles in particular. It was Bash plus Feed, not 26 damage. That deals 8 plus... 18. Oh, maybe we actually did have a feed, huh? Uh, you might be you might be right, Panther, and I just failed to math. Yeah, that is 26. Well shoot. Or we could have double feed. That's also kind of cool, but uh kind of awkward. Take the emulate here. Falling Bell, Velvet Choker, Cursed Key, huh? Hmm. Currently, this is a Velvet Choker deck. Let's try it. Can't play more than six cards per turn. The deck doesn't do that very well at all at the moment. We would love more energy, for sure. And I think we have many ways to scale into the late game that aren't going to depend on spamming cards. So I suspect this will work out okay. At least one hopes. Uh, let's see what the shop can do for us prepping for an elite here. We could decide elite or fire here. We have so much money, I think it's ridiculous to consider any path that doesn't get a shop early, or a shop at all, like this Burning Elite path. That's no good. But this, this is good. Give me some cards. Not those cards. 
Although a defend defend clash is better than playing. I'd have to play combustibly clash. Eid coming up and we'll be weak. Possible. Do 18. How much will Bash Strike feed be next turn? Um. Six plus six plus this will be eighteen times point seven five. Just what thirteen? Yeah, thirteen. So we do twenty five. Forty three minus eighteen is 25. So we have an exact kill if we get all three attacks, which is pretty cool, actually. Unfortunately, we don't get all three attacks. So the feed will have to wait. We only take two damage. We're going to heal four off of the feed. Easily worth it. And another 25 bucks. Good. Pommel Strike? Not great, but it isn't bad to add a Pommel Strike here. I'll take one. One Pommel Strike. Birds are, in fact, here, but guess what? Bottled, well, not bottled, Bag of Marbles Immolate gets a lot of work done. We can do four plus nine, so we can eat this one. Take six here. I'm going to eat you now. Combust also makes this fight a lot easier. Uh, yikes, though. We're getting swooped. Feels bad. Feels really bad. Those dang swoopers, man. The Jackster with 38 months. How's it going? Not taking a second Pommel Strike or a second Clash here. No way. Okay, with 380 gold, what does the shop have? The shop has Orange Pellets, which are OP. The shop has Toy Ornithopter. The shop has Rupture. Rupture we can definitely consider here. Whenever we lose HP from a card, gain one Strength. So that's every time we play Hemokinesis... Every time combust procs, we gain strength. <laughs> we can afford a relic alongside rupture and remove here, picking up pellets or the toy ornithopter. I do like the idea of picking up pellets. Oh, Mamori definitely would have made uh, Kursky a lot easier to take. Go orange pellets. Although I think Ornithopter with the self harm would have been quite good. And I will remove one strike here. Strikes are bad. Strikes must go. Is the way of things. Hmm. Do we rob the vagrant for a relic here? Curse makes it a lot harder to use our uh, Clash. More relics can definitely be a good thing, though. I'm really not sure. Yeah, I'm really not sure if this is worth it. 
I don't think so. Especially if we get a curse here. But maybe it's a remove? No, we do get a curse. Wow. Well, I'm glad I don't have two curses at least. Yikes. Thanks, jerk. Ugh. Guess I'll go here to remove it. Is that even going to work? Yeah. Bummer. Bummer. I want to feed. I don't think I want to play the... Combust. At this time. Let's just play Rupture. Go attack our skill. Debuffs are gone. Bomb kills them. Only the Taskmaster is alive to be eaten. Although, we may not want to try it. I get to rest right here. Nah, it's not worth it. Kunai is garbage. Reaper's not, though. Reaper is most certainly not garbage. That makes me want to upgrade Rupture now. Let's see if we can pull it off. Well, that's a heal 18 right there. I'll probably just take that. But we also need the damage from the Reaper to kill the sneaky gremlin here. Unless I'm using my potion right now. So, yeah, I'll just go Rupture, Reaper, Strike. Not surprised to get attacked anyway. So it goes. Okay. It's not really any good blocks. Swift Pot will uh, not make Decay do more. It's not regret, it's decay. All right, fine. Worth it. Totally worth it. This is the uh, example of the puzzle anti-synergy with our combust. Bit unfortunate. Really bad. We absolutely might die in this fight. Uh, to the extent that I need to play the feed now to kill you. Oh, good. We're not dead. Yeah. Good. Good. Had we gotten attacked on that last turn, it was all over, for sure. Definitely a spooky fight. Get an ornamental fan? Okay, now there's a real synergy going on. Shockwave. Or, you know, Wild Strike Plus, but yeah, Shockwave. Definitely shockwave. What's in the box? An hourglass is in the box. Even more damage to every enemy every turn. Even more difficulty in landing feed? More difficulty in making Reaper heal for maximum amounts? No, I don't want that. 
But I do want to take some more fights. Try to get my... stuff in order here. Can simply remove your stinky confusion. You can't fool me. Need a skill. Should have played Rupture before uh, Hemo, though, of course. <laughs> Much regrets. Much regrets. Should have known better. Oh well. X sucks. Typically, I don't advise killing the Mystic first, but if you can feed on her turn one, that's a pretty good situation for it. it does mean we're at the mercy of the multi-attacks from the Centurion, if he chooses to do any. Looks like no. Just gonna get donked by my own crappy deck here. Bummer. We have not found one opportunity to use Reaper effectively. Guess we'll just take the opportunity to use it, period. Black spot with orange pellets, though. That's a thing. That is certainly a thing. I don't think I want a thunderclap. About a dark embrace or a fiend fire. We have entrench calipers. Is that a thing? Not really. No, not really. Let's just dunk uh, decay here. So arguably, dark embrace is actually better than removing. Not gonna pay for heavy blade. No way. Literally die, get our curse back, or get the gold, the bloody idol. I mean, given those options, I'll take the bloody idol here. Healing us five whenever we gain gold. I like that just fine. Embrace good even with choker, especially with choker. Yeah. Yeah, dark embrace is a card. You play one card, and then you get unlimited card draw. No other card draw card really does that. Hey, buddy, you got no money. Yeah, Corruption Dark Embrace, not really a thing with Joker, but just Dark Embrace, definitely. Definitely a thing. Stings that there was a shop there. Uh, I'm super taking a nap. Good night. I really want to lose strike here. Could I colorless potion now? We are going to want kind of all the help we can get getting through this act. Let's do it. Seems okay.
Good news, every card in my hand is an attack. Reaper for 15 health here, or 30 if I want it. We can do better though. Definitely do better. First one is stealing Immolate. The second one is stealing one of my uncommon cards. They always take the rarest card in the draw pile. Unfortunately, feeding doesn't work on this orb. Point in playing Evolve yet. Bad turn to draw Reaper. Hmm. Concerning. Maybe we want a kunai here. It's a bit better. Guess I kind of need to now, huh? Let's do it like this. Probably should have used that flex spot with the pellets, but uh, I didn't. I think we'll be okay either way, though. It a bit close, hey? The eight thirty six. Definitely not going to kill. I'll be back for you, feed. We drew all defends. Good, we're good. Another feed missed, but we're still alive, and that's what really counts here. Our rare cards that are no good with a choker. I'm definitely feeling like the cursed key might have been the better pick in retrospect. Offering is still probably worth thinking about because we do have self-harm synergy. We do have the Centennial puzzle. We do have a lot of healing. I'll take it over the other options. I guess Berserk with Orange Pellets also an option, but what if I just took Coffee Dripper and got an extra energy per turn that way? Could also go Black Star for more Relics off Elites here. Although I haven't fought the Burning Elites, so we might not get to fight too many. Let's go with the Coffee Dripper. Just have a lots of energy each turn so we can play many cards. Uh, and then hopefully we can refine the deck a little bit further to actually properly take advantage of all that energy to do strong things. That'd be nice. Yeah, not much of a Black Star. Only would have been two additional Relics this act. We have to get to the Elite through this path and this path only. No choice there for us, unfortunately. This is a weird fight. I might be able to leave this fight at full health. I might lose a ton of health and not be able to get it back. It's kind of hard to tell, actually. Funny how that goes.
more. Good example of a uh, choker finally stopping us. like that. Reasonable Reaper turn here with 20 strength. We get back 48 health plus 11. Uh, although, if I Reaper now, the fight ends and we don't land the feed, huh? It's going to be very hard to both heal from Reaper and feed successfully, huh? Hmm. Trouble, trouble. Oh, yeah, actually, we only get 46. That's right. Still think it's probably our best bet. Go to a pretty good number of health. Good enough. How do we do against these two? Not a clue. Not a clue. Definitely play Evolve. Telesize is probably better than a Defend. We take some damage here, as expected. It's turn two like. Turn two is looking like we Explosive Pot to feed on one of them. Yeah. Definitely. And I'll put Rupture in play so we can Reaper back some of the health. That's good. Get a Pocket Watch. If we play three or fewer cards during our turn, draw three extra cards on the next turn. Now the Velvet Choker is looking like a pretty good choice. Do I want a Metallicize Plus? Not exactly, although it does have some use, honestly. You know what? Screw it. That helps, I think. And a glowing Tesseract looks good as well, maybe? Finesse is sort of a thing. Flash of Steel is sort of a thing. Purity looks actually kind of helpful. Dark Shackles is definitely getting added. That's a good card. I'm going to try a Purity here. Take none of these. They're not choker or pocket watch cards. Classic. Fight the weak version after fighting the hard version. Take a bunch of damage to this guy anyway. Classic, classic. This deck has no block currently. Help.
If I go Rupture, Hemokinesis, Strike would deal 12, Feed would deal 21, so 30 plus 12 plus 21 kills. There we go. Didn't miss the lethal this time. I'll do it this way. Take a bit of a beating there, but oh well. Hmm. We want to play three cards. Perfect. Now we can Dark Shackles this thing. To block it. Take that. That whole beast. Tricky to use Reaper in this fight, but I'm gonna try here. I only take one if I don't play Hemo, so we should actually just stop here. Oh no, I take two. Never mind. Forgot about my combust. Okay, that was the same either way then. Health still on a pretty good trend here. Heavy Blade for free. We do have Strength Scaling. I do want a way to turn that into killing our foes, so I'm going to grab that. It's also a pretty good Velvet Choker slash Pocket Watch card in general. Excuse you. Draw 10 on this turn. So we get Rupture, Combust, Metallicize. An Offering and play two more cards if I want to. I don't want to play Offering yet. Or Reaper yet. I think Giant Head just kills us. Oh, ye of little faith. Behold. The things that we can do. It's got 650 hit points, though. That is kind of spooky, actually. Need to keep drawing a bunch. I need to use the Blessing of the Forge next turn. That certainly might be the case. Why are you still here? Yeah, that's a really good Blessing of the Forge. Two. Three. for quite a bit here. 
draw all of that next turn. Spooky, actually. We can just do more damage. Doot. 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 This turn particularly hurts. Unless... No, we're not killing, surely. There's no way that's happening. Okay, we take a chunk here, but then we win. Next to Heavy Blade Plus. We get a Fossilized Helix. Prevent the first time you would lose health each combat. That's maybe good. Not good in every fight. Disarm Plus, however, I think is good in probably every fight. Removing three strength off a foe, excellent. Particularly against the Awakened One and Time Eater, whom I'm a little worried about. Here's a chance to heal quite a bit with a boss fight. Get another rare relic too, that's great. So do I want to play Combust? Or do I want this to go? I guess we have to scale with Rupture somehow, right? I guess that's fine. Good. for a little bit more health out of this fight, but this will do. We're up to 100 now. We've got a Duvu doll giving us strength for curses. We got one strength out of that. Brutality. At the start of your turn, lose one health, draw one card. You know, I don't mind if I do, actually. Do not mind if I do. Nice constrict. Cool. And this is sort of my turn, so I can actually play it. We get reconstructed, and then we can re-remove it with the uh, evolve next turn. Eames OP. Let's play combust as well. We have 126 hit points. And another upgraded heavy blade, which I am super taking with our strength scaling. Six metallicize in a jar also, I think, pretty good here. 
starting to get into a pretty strong position. And now we can bottle a skill. Bottle the disarm plus, please. If we do that, then we should be able to all but guarantee that we can use our helix to block the big hit from the hearts, as well as shutting down a number of other foes. It's going at Nemesis. Dr. Nemesis. Ooh. Well. Probably lose some health in this fight. Yet. Not being excessively rude is really appreciated. Hey, what did I just say? Dang it. Even with an upgraded heavy blade, I don't think I have a kill on this turn, do I? With five strength, it'd be 14 plus 25. It goes to 39. 39 plus 34 plus 15. Plus 7. That's close, but not there. Don't think we can kill it. Could play Clash, but only by spending 2 energy on Defend, Defend instead of... And playing Evolve instead of doing the other thing. There's no statuses yet either, so Evolve is dead weight. Does that change anything? I don't think so. Could use it to play two attacks and gain a bit more block this turn, actually. Not gonna bother. Guess we'll Reaper now? I guess so. It's actually not that much damage that we take. Plus one dexterity helps with the whole blocking thing. Second feed is cute, but man, it's way too late, unfortunately. What about a Whirlwind? Whirlwind seems good with crazy strength scaling and the kunai fan. I like having an attack I can play for zero energy. Hard to feed on transient. I don't think we'll be doing that. Brutality over Combust. Keep drawing with Pocket Watcher. Uh, we should be able to Reaper to get some of our health back. Hopefully for a net gain here. Of 
Perfect. GG. Now we're at basically full health. And we get a fruit juice, so full health just got even better. 138 max health. 10% potion chance. Kind of cool. Uh, do we want to look at two shops or just one? What is the rest site doing for me? We can upgrade Heavy Blade. That seems like a big deal, actually. We already have the red key. We can upgrade Shockwave as well. Those both seem like a big deal. Let's go this way. Battle Trance with Orange Pellets? I kind of like that combo. If only it weren't for the Velvet Choker, I think it would be a lot better. When's the right time to drink fruit juice? When you have to is the right time to drink fruit juice. Or if you're suddenly gaining an additional benefit. For example, you picked up a Toy Ornithopter or you picked up Sacred Bark. But because you can drink the fruit juice at any time, there's never really any reason to do it early. There's a double... We could double Rupture. Interesting. <clears throat> could double Rupture and double Reaper here, right? We can afford 160 plus 162. That's kind of insane. We could also double the Disarm. Which might not be a bad idea either. Hmm. But yeah, with all the powers down, that would be 8 strength per turn, which is a lot. Certainly a lot. What? Yeah, it's only three 322 for both. Could take a third metallicize. I don't think I want that. Is the only reason to do it early the Ranwit event? Yeah, Bloodwig. And and even that is not really uh, that much of a reason. Um, anything else we would want to maybe double? Yeah, just disarm. But I, I think double rupture is the right move here. Let's do it. Double rupture, double reaper. We have 38 gold left. Not enough for a potion, crucially. Which might mean only having one potion into heart, but uh, with double rupture, double reaper, I think I don't care. Pretty sure I don't care. We upgrade Evolve, maybe. No, Shockwave. We can upgrade Evolve in Act 4. If we want to. I'm drawing 9 anyway, so I might as well play all these cards. Three cards next turn. We'll go uh, close line, metallicize, evolve. Take a bit of damage here, but uh, then we draw lots next turn. Keep the weak up. All these powers are in play. Dark Shackles. Can I eat you? 148 plus 43 plus 39. That sure sounds like it kills. Wait, 148 plus 43. Yes, you're dead. Tasty. 
Okay, who is next? It is the Awakened One. Threatening to punish us for playing too many powers. Which is fair, honestly. At least we've got one disarm. This would be the main reason to uh, double disarm. But I don't think it was enough of a reason. some kunai going. Keep the Dark Shackles for a multi-hit turn. It certainly could save our life. Looking good here. With the minions down, we can rely a lot more on the uh, pocket watch. Literally last card. All right, fair enough. what healing is for. to kill you yet. Now I am. Now you must die. Should have played Dark Shackles there. That was my mistake. Could have removed the five strength permanently from this bird nerd, but I can also just bonk it to death now. So close to a kill. Yoink. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this, the heart of the spire, the source of all this strength gain. You ready your reapers, dealing 1924 damage. Actually, don't have a command for the uh, what we call whale trick or the awaken one trick or whatever you want to call that. But yes, um, essentially giving strength down to a boss anytime it's going to purge debuffs will make it forget the strength down. This works on the awakened one, time eater, and the champ but has the inverse effect on heart because heart doesn't actually pur purge strength down. Or rather, heart does purge strength down, but doesn't purge the corresponding shackled effect. An on sale thunderclap. Oh boy. I guess there's no longer any reason to wait on the fruit juice, so I'll drink it now. Do I want you to poke me? Yeah, I want the bonus draw, surely. So let's go dark shackles, disarm, immolate. Let him poke me. We draw 10 cards next turn. Full hand. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, actually, no. We could have found Toy Ornithopter after this fight. You're right. And then again, we want to get poked because that gives me the bonus draw off the puzzle. Did the heart ever cure itself of regular status effects? No. 
does not do that. Hmm. Well, this hurts a bit, but uh, that's what Reaper is for, right? Next turn could be bad, too, if I play more cards. This only blocks nine. Nine block or three draws. Oh, also, if I block the... If I don't block the burns, they're going to give me strength. Wait, no, I don't have rupture in play yet. Ah, shoot. They're going to give me nothing. Oh, dang it. Meh. Here we go. Party Broken Pocket Watch, lose these three also. Won't draw any of that again. Wow, they both attacked on this turn, and I drew both Reapers on this turn. Pretty bad. Or is it? One. Two, three. Reaper. Two. That's a pretty big heal. We definitely don't get back to full, which is certainly concerning for the hard fight. Both the same damage. Plus one strength. And another disarm or another shockwave. Both are pretty sweet here. I'm definitely worried by the lack of block cards we have. I feel like we're going to lose our buffer on turn one. It seems really bad. I guess I'll take the shockwave. I don't see double disarm being all that good. I'm certainly worried about this fight. Oh good, we got to defend on turn one. Excellent! Alright, no need to panic. We can go defend... Disarm, Metallicize, and now we're guaranteed to be able to buffer the first hit if we don't play any self-harm next turn. That's pretty good. We also get to activate the Pocket Watch. So here, we don't want to play Combust, as that would ruin the buffer. We can play True Grit, Evolve, Shockwave. I think I'm going to lose Clash. I'm going to lose Clash. And then we have Buffer intact for next turn. Clash! Much I can do on this turn. Guess we just want to defend slimes. Doesn't even really matter that much whether I lose the slime or not. Actually, it's a bonus draw, right? Because we have two evolve. Maybe I even keep it on purpose here. That would let me play one strike. Easy game. I can play this defend. It doesn't matter whether I do or not. Yeah. 
Okay. So we used our buffer properly. Now the ruptures are coming. Second shockwave to ensure the debuffs stay. This might just be a metallicized rupture shockwave. Don't play any further cards. This is not good. Hmm. Hey, Sal, thanks for the tier one sub and the 10 months of support. Oh, yeah, actually. More. Brutality. Be the last. Okay, that's a little better, maybe. Here we go. Don't bother playing this. Take 30 damage, go to 64. We still survive this hit no matter what. Finally, Combust gets in play. We can break the Choker this turn. We want to keep doing damage. I also want some amount of health here. Let's go True Grit Bash Heavy Blade. That caps damage and removes the remaining artifact so that we can Dark Shackles the next multi-hit, potentially. We also have Reaper coming up in the draw pile. Strength is going up. Health is going down, though. But look at that. Dark Shackles saves the day. Good stuff. Heal me for 50. Looks like a GG to me. Delicious and nutritious. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.